video, I'm going to be covering the main confluence that I use when identifying any V1 variations. Um, as you guys see during the live sessions, I typically mark up multiple V1 variations, but I only take certain entries. So uh, here's an example of a V1 variation right here. Uh, we can't confirm the overall bias, but we're just going to assume that it was bearish for this example. Uh, you want to see this high right here, and you want to look for a double body or double wick rejection. So I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see a bit better. Uh, this right here would be a V1 pattern because you can see that it is a double wick rejection. So with that said, uh, when you see this here and you see that there's a pending sell signal, uh, you're going to enter this for a short position. But before you enter this position, or before I enter this position, I typically look for a confluence. So to do that, I'm going to look for the most recent high. I'm going to draw a zone at the wick. And I want to make sure that this V1 is rejecting off that zone. So this pretty much sets up for a double top. That's basically the pattern that I'm looking for, or I'm trying to identify the top here, which you guys can see it's pretty obvious. Uh, and once I have that there, I'll typically take this entry as long as there's no red flags and as long as everything meets criteria. So we have a V1 pattern right here. It's a V1 variation entry. Um, and we also have the confluence here that I typically look for when I look for entries. So once you have that lined up right there, I let the trade run and you can see it goes straight to TP with no drawdown. So this is the main confluence that I look for. I have another example here for a buy, same situation. So we have a V1 pattern right here, double body rejection. Uh, we'll set up the buy entry right there. We'll set it up for a 1030 split. Again, before I enter this trade, I'm going to look at the nearest low. So on this entry over here, I look for the nearest high because I was looking for a sell. Over here, since I'm looking for a buy, I'm going to be looking for the nearest low. So this is the entry right here, and this is the nearest low. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a zone at this wick, and you can see same thing. So we have basically a support, floor, double bottom, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we have the V1 variation right here rejecting directly off this structure. Once I have that lined up right there, I'll take the trade for a buy, let it run through, and you can see straight to full TP with no drawdown. So it's pretty simple. It's a simple little confluence that I look for whenever I take any V1 variations. It's not necessary by any means, but it does help with confirming um, you know, confidence in your trade and justifying your trade to take uh, rather than just taking every single V1 because they're not all gonna hit, but if you look for these quality entries, odds of them hitting are very likely. So, all right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.